We are now going to look at the section 23H deduction for learnerships. So Q Limited is a company with a 31 December year end. They enter into a number of learnership agreements. And then I give you all these learners, learner A, learner B, C, and D. And I ask you to do it for each of their years separately. Okay, now guys, remember, this is a summary of section 23H, how we're going to be using it. Okay, so let's look at the first one, learner A. So on the 1st of January 20X3, Q Limited entered into a learnership agreement with learner A that lasted exactly 12 months. Learner A is not disabled, and learner A has an NQF level 4. Okay, so... Remember now, our tax year runs from January until December. On the first of this month, they entered into a 12-month contract that lasted exactly 12 months. Okay, it lasted exactly 12 months. So, what does that mean for us? It means that we get, remember, two, you get an annual allowance, and you get a completion allowance. So the annual allowance this person is going to get is an NQF level 4, so he's going to get 40,000 rands, or we get the tax as the company, we're going to get 40,000 rands for the annual allowance, and he also completed it, and it's for less than 24 full months, because it was only 12 months, so we'll get another 40,000 rands. So here's the 20x3 year for learn A. 40,000 rands annual, 40,000 rands completion. Learner B. On the 1st of January 20x3, Q Limited entered into a learnership agreement with Learner B that would last exactly 12 months. However, on the 30th of July, so seven months into the year, Learner B announced that he was no longer interested in completing his learnership and that he would not be returning to work. He has an NKF level 8 and is not disabled. Okay, so NKF level 8 means that 20,000 rands. We get the annual one because we had it for... Jan until July, seven months. So learner B, 20,000, so I'm seven over 12, we get that, and he did not complete the learnership, so nothing further. Learner C, on the 1st of January 20X3, Q Limited entered into a learnership agreement with learner C that would last exactly 18 months. Learner C completed this learnership on the 30th of June 20X4. Learner C is disabled with an NQ of level five. Okay. So, NKF level 5 is 40,000 rands, plus this a disability is another 20,000, so it's 60,000 rands. This was for 18 months. So, in year 1, from, so let's do it like this. 1 Jan 20X3 to 30 June 20X4. Here's 31 December 20X3. So there's 12 months in 1 Jan 20X3 and then another 6 months. So from 1 Jan 20X3 to 31 December, we only have our annual allowance. So this is 20X3 here. We only have our annual allowance. Then he has the 6 months in 20X4. So the annual, 60,000 times 6 over 12. And then the completion. What do we get for the completion? This is less than 24 full months, so it is another 40,000 plus 20,000, so 60,000. There we go. Then we have Learner D. On the 1st of August 20X3, Q Limited entered into a learnership agreement with Learner D that would last 36 months. Learner D completed this on the 31st of July 20X6. It's not disabled. Learner D has an NQF level 10. Okay, so... Then you do it as follows for each year. So 1 Jan 20x3 to 31 December 20x3. 1 Jan 20x4, 31 December 20x4, 20x5. In 1 Jan 20x6 to 31 December 20x6. Okay, so they tell us that we entered into this, sorry, on the 1st of August 20x3. So over here, 1 August to 31 December. So August, September, October, November, December. Five months. We had it in for the entire year, 
20x4, 12 months. Entire, 20x5, 12 months. 12 months plus 12 months, 24 months plus another 5 is 29 months. So how many months do we have left? 7 months. That is why we completed it in, in July. So from 1 Jan 26 to 31 July, 7 months. Okay, so now we just go. So in the 20x3 year, we get the annual allowance times 5 over 12. Right? In the 20x4 and x5 years, we had the full 12 months. So we get the full allowance for that. So 20x4, 20x5. Full allowance, full allowance. Then 20x6. What happens in 20x6? We have the annual allowance for 7 months. But then we also completed this. And how did we complete it? It was 36 months, so it's 24 full months or more. So we get the allowance for each full 12 month period. Okay, so 20x6, we get our annual one, 7 months. And because there were 3 12 month periods in there, remember it's 36 months, 3 times 12 is 36, we get it 3 times that amount. And that is where we get our allowance. Right, guys, so you need to be able to answer and understand exactly whichever year they can ask you. For example, if you take this learner D, which ended in 20x3 and finished in 20x6, they could easily ask you to do it for 20x5, for example. And then you would have to know what to include in that year. So do pay attention to it. It is very simple. Don't be scared of using timelines if you need to.